So in this video, we're just going to have a look at ways to neaten up the grid view in WooCommerce. Sometimes you create a layout and maybe you're faced with something that looks like this and you would like to pull it together and make it look good. So the first thing to look at when you um, look at your grid is to inspect it and then let's have a look at one of the product items. So you'll see that they are all here in an ordered list using the UL and LI tag and if we open that you'll see that you have the different components of your uh, product. Now you'll see that um, we have the link which is here in the A tag and then we have a price and then we have an add to cart button. So now the A tag you'll see that the A tag encompasses the title, the image and the price. Okay, so now what we want to do is just make this look a bit better. So the first thing to do is to go to the ally tag and make sure that the layout inside that is flex. So I'm just going to reactivate display flex. So we have display flex. And then we need to look at the flex direction and make sure that it's in column. And that automatically uh, pulls everything together in a way. And after doing that, if we click on that little flex icon there, you'll see that the direction is column and here are some options for the flex layout that are also going to be available to us but not inside this particular LI grouping. So the first thing, the most important thing to do is just to make sure that you are in a flex and the direction is column and that will immediately pull the items together. That may however not um, always result in pushing the add to cart button to the bottom. So if we just scroll down a bit more here, you'll see some other settings for that ally um, holder. But for us, we just want to make sure that the display is flex and the flex direction is column that forces everything underneath each other. But we still have an issue because the price and the add to cart button um, are not positioned um, very neatly in a straight line so maybe what we want to do is bring the price down to the bottom so that all the prices are next to each other and to do that we have a look here at our item and we see that there's the price and here is the button and what we want to do is wrap the price and the button together so that we can force them to the bottom with the image and the title at the top. Now in order to do that we have a function that we can use. In this case I'm using the plugin snippets to add functions and what I'm doing is I'm just hooking into that layout and when it comes to the layout of the archive on this site here from uh, businessbloomer.com they have a WooCommerce visual hook guide archive shop cat page and you'll see that here we have the category layout as we would have it in in our grid view and in our archive view and here you can see the hooks that we can hook into so essentially we want to hook into the item here before the price and we also want to include the add to cart and we want to wrap those two items in a div so remember woocommerce shop loop item title and it's the after and we go here and you'll see that we have the WooCommerce Aftershop loop item title here and what we're saying is wrap put insert the archive price wrap um, before the price and then we're saying close with the div after the shop loop item and here's the WooCommerce after the shop loop item and we're going to insert, insert that after the add to cart. So just to show you, I'm going to save that and activate. And then I'm going to head back to the page and I'm going to refresh. And now you'll see that those items have been pulled together and it's also changed the layout of the page. So it looks like it's even more disrupted than it was before. And it is, but I'm going to show you now how we're going to fix that. So now we have the the archive price wrap which is now wrapping the price and now the A tag is just wrapping the image and the and the title and now what we're going to do is we're going to push them apart so that they fill that whole LR space and that purple area at the bottom now 
is where we're going to push the add to cart and to do that if I just go into customize here and I go to my additional CSS you will see here that I've um, already created some CSS that we can drop in but to show you how we do that with inspecting so what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to go across to my item so here I am on the LI and now we do have the flex direction as column we have flex and what we're going to do now is use the space between for the layout the moment I do that you'll see that the items are pushed to the bottom and the only other thing that I might want to add there would be text align center with that in place I'm just going to copy that CSS and then I'm going to open up my customize I'm going to pop that in there and we're just going to publish that and then I'm going to close and now you'll see that when we go through our grid view that all the items now line up with the price along the bottom and the headings in a line with each other and then the images of course fill in the top spot so that's one way of just quickly uh, fixing up the alignment of the items in the WooCommerce grid so I hope you found that uh, useful and thank you for watching